what is happening guys Martin Martin is back again um, it's been a hot minute guys sometimes I'm gonna do videos and I'm gonna dip in dip out that's just how it's gonna go sometimes but as it stands right now guys I'm just touching base with you um, and again quick first impressions quick review um, of this fragrance which um, I've already done a review of the original version I've already do, done a review of the legend and this is Invictus Intense guys now for those of you guys that live in the UK um, check out Superdrug seriously like they have some fragrances on there which you know um, like um, for me Dolce & Gabbana the one but the, or the Parfum version um, I think even hitting that like at 50 pounds um, for the 50 mil which is quite good I mean if you go to the airport and you buy it um, from there for 100 mil you probably get 100 mil for about 60 pounds so UK um, High Street is not really the best place to buy fragrances. If you're gonna get them, probably better off getting them online. But if you're somebody like me who just sometimes doesn't want to wait for that and I want to go and get a bargain, that's what I'm gonna go and do. Now, guys, I decided to purchase the 50 mil of this. I've already done a review of the, as I say, the original version. Um, and again, guys, this is just my first impressions and also after wearing this now for one week. So this is Invictus um, Intense. Um, and again, I'm just gonna give you the note breakdown. Top notes being uh, black pepper. Um, then we go on to some orange blossom mid notes is um, I believe there's like some um, it says Lohels, I'm not sure what that is um, and then it seems whiskey and then in the base notes we have ambergris which again is a key component now I think for fragrances um, then we have some salt and then we also have um, according to the fragratica amber in the base now for me guys between um, this version and the original version there are differences um, it is noticeable the original version is a lot more brighter it's more in your face it's more like wow i'm here you could say even slightly more juvenile i don't think so because the compliments are, are still there and this one guys believe it or not is getting the compliments um this one guys i mean it's not the same it doesn't project in the same way as the original version the original version is a lot brighter a lot more um, in your face and um, this one um to me is more of a, a mature type of vibe you can wear this probably i've been wearing this in the office now the thing about these type of fragrances guys um, the opening can be a little bit heavy so you do need to maybe give it maybe 10 or 15 minutes and um, if you're going to spray this guys when you're in the office i'd probably say um if you're about to go on lunch maybe spray it then so when you come back it's settled um but it stays guys I was getting at least a good a good five hours on this one or so um, and again the other version again in the heat that was fantastic this one in the heat probably wouldn't necessarily um, go down as well I think it's a bit heavier and um, it's a bit more as I say a bit more reserved but it still maintains that scent bubble and it still gives you um, a level of projection but not enough that the, the you know the other one would be pushing away the original version we're pushing away and making people smell it who could be you know f you know a few chairs down this one keeps it relatively close but at the same time it's noticeable and ladies when we're up close guys i was getting compliments in work and i was getting compliments just wearing this socially um so to be honest guys as it stands in my opinion for fragrances that are well up under um i mean this was this cost me around about i think it was 40 something pounds it came in at and um, for what this is Fantastic guys, fantastic. Now guys, um, I'm gonna do another review as well because what I want to do, um, I want to do a comparison video of Zara's um, Soul, which is the winter version. And this to me guys, I think this is an attempt on the intense. I think it's an attempt on the intense version. The bottle gives it away. They're slightly different guys, don't get me wrong, they're slightly different. This one has a lot of depth into it, I, I do think. But I'm gonna give you my opinion on the two, two comparisons. And then guys, I'm gonna give you at some point i need to get the ladies in to do the review for me but this is what's going to happen guys there's three fragrances that i have that have just been compliment 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 or even four fragrances compliment 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 and we're going to do a um comparison video with a lady lady's opinion on that one on those four fragrances so i'm going to make sure i get those out of my um out of my uh, off my desk and get those putting together in a line and we're going to get that video done so as it stands guys for me this is still a hitter guys compliments are still there it's not the same as the original it's still got the dna as the original you, you can still sense it's from the same family but at the same time compared to the legend version where the legend is quite far out there the aqua again slightly more woodsy this one it maintains the original but maybe in a more of a tone like a toned down more of a mature vibe to it and um, easily wear this one in the evenings still get your compliments maybe it's not necessarily the most mature type of fragrance there is but for me guys and this is the intense version um 
yeah, I give it easily out of five, guys. I probably give this probably at least a three and a half, maybe pushing on four. For me, guys, the original version is gonna get five because that's just been a staple. Um, ladies love it. I know it's generic, but ladies love it, and I enjoy that fragrance. I love the the grapefruit vibe that you get from that, and the, and the I think it's like a bay leaf in there. It's fantastic, guys. So as it stands, check this one out, guys. Let me know your thoughts, um, and I'll get some more reviews for you guys. But you can see, guys, I've got my lineup done. And we're supposed to be going out. A few things I need to get done today. So I'm doing pretty cool, guys. So thank you very much, guys, for the comments and subscriptions. I know I'm not putting up that many videos. I'm going to try and keep doing it. I'm always going to um, make sure I get some videos out for you guys. But thank you very much. See you guys soon, Martha Martinez. Ciao.